Hi everyone, so we've basically reached to the last chapter of our Adobe Muse course for beginners. In previous chapters, we learned how to add text um, in different ways. We also learned how to edit this text in a specific breakpoint or across all breakpoints because we're going to actually be doing that now. And now in this chapter, um, what I'm going to show you is how I'm going to add some other elements and I'm going to make some adjustments to make it all responsive and all these adjustments is just to so it will fit all breakpoints. So I'm just going to use one page is the about us page, but you are actually going to do this all across your your website. So as an example, we have here in the about page, we have some text frames. I'm also going to add these three elements that I have here. It's two pictures and a text with an icon, a font awesome icon. So first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to place this element and I'm going to make it look nice in this big breakpoint. So first thing is I'm going to place this image over here. So I'm just going to check the size first. The width is five. I mean the height is 500, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to select and I'm going to select stretch to browsers width. I might want to make this a little bit higher. Let's say 550. For example, great. So now here, I'm going to bring this a little bit down and I'm going to make this text frame a bit smaller and align it to the left. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this picture over here. So if I've already prepared my assets, I've optimized all the pictures so they're not that heavy because if they're heavy, it will take pretty long to, to load. And I'm going to add this text up here. So easiest thing here is adding, I mean grouping this. Just going to make this a bit. Okay, I'm going to group these two text frames. So it's grouped and I think this looks nice enough. So what I did with this image gallery before is in other chapters, I just adjust the, the size to different breakpoints. But now what I've, what I've done is I was sure that I wanted this uh, pretty down the page. So I just lower it down. So now I kind of have enough space. So now I'm just going to show you how the other breakpoint looks. Everything is messy, so a little trick that it kind of saves time is select all these new elements or the elements that you want to adjust. Let's say these over here. I'm not selecting the image gallery because it's already adapted to the different breakpoints. So I'm just going to right click and add copy size and position to 1200 breakpoint. So I'm just going breakpoint by breakpoint. So now I just have to make minor adjustments. I'm going to zoom in. Okay, so this one, just let's center it like that. Let's see, we might need to make this a bit smaller so it will fit our safe area. Let's say until here and going to make this text frame a bit bigger. So I know I've resized this picture, so I don't mind if it looks like this. And now these two text frames. Okay, now we're doing the same thing. Select these elements. Sorry, select these elements. Same thing, copy size and position to 1000 breakpoint. So now select this other breakpoint. So here in the 1000 breakpoint, I might want to make this a bit smaller. Like that, so I can bring up the elements a little bit. 
and starting from here I'm gonna make a different adjustment so I'm gonna bring these two text frames down these are easy because I'm not gonna make I mean they're not gonna change that much across all the breakpoints I'm just going to adjust it that's it but this one it is going to change a little bit because now I'm gonna drag this down and this is going to fit all the frame and this is going to look different let's say like this okay we can bring this a little bit down because we have enough space let's say until here and I'm gonna bring down this a little bit a bit up and a bit up so whenever you're happy same exact thing select the elements and copy size and position to the next breakpoint it's just because it's easier this way so I'm still gonna make this even smaller let's bring it up to sorry bring it down to 400 now let's make this text frame smaller this picture is smaller too I'm going to zoom in make sure every element is in this safe area like this image gallery and the text below it so we're done with the 768 breakpoint and now we're going to do the last breakpoint the mobile breakpoint so same thing we're just going to select the new elements and right click copy size and position to 480 breakpoint so now let's visit that breakpoint and here I'm going to do the same thing I'm going to make this way smaller let's say now a little bit more than 200 let's say like this and make the text frame smaller same as this image like this this text frame and this one over here I'm going to zoom in And the image gallery text frame just bring it up a little bit okay I'm going to I think I know I'm just gonna make so I would think I was right before 300 is not a good option let's make 250 so gonna select all these elements and bring them up a little bit so there's space for the image gallery and up so now we're done and one thing you can do in Muse you can preview it and in your browser so you don't need to upload it to to your server so just go to file and you can choose between preview page in browser or preview site in browser site means you're going to preview the whole site and I just want to preview this page so this is how it looks I'm just going to scroll down a little bit and see how it looks in the biggest breakpoint now I'm just going to make the browser smaller when it reaches to the next breakpoint and see 
If you want to make any changes, just go back to, to Muse and make the adjustments. So I think it is looking good. And that's it. So basically, this is what you have to do in all the pages that you have designed in Muse. Whenever you add more elements and make them responsive, it have, they have to like make sense all together and have to interact with the other elements. So we're done. Hope you guys like this course. And the only thing you have to do now is upload your site to your server. And you can do this in different ways. So if you want me to continue and, and add a last video showing you this last step, this last process of uploading your site, just click like, comment this video, and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you guys for watching.